Well, the rain isn't stopping Occupy protesters from storming ports up and down the West Coast. Hundreds of protesters blocked traffic, backing up lines of trucks in an effort to get their message out. Eyewitness News reporter Danielle Saar is live at the port of Long Beach where protesters were met by police today. Danielle. Good morning, Christina. The heavy rain did not stop the protesters from coming out here. Uh, they say this was the port, the Occupy the Ports, and while it's quiet right now, that was not the case when police first arrived. If you are blocking the street, you need to get out of traffic or you'll be arrested. With their batons out, Long Beach police in riot gear confront Occupy protesters at their latest rally. In a tense standoff, one man was arrested and taken away in handcuffs for trespassing. It all happened here at this dock facility in Long Beach, owned by SSA Marine, which is a shipping company that's partially owned by Goldman Sachs. They're dubbing this protest Occupy the Ports. Goldman Sachs uh, owns a lot of these ports. They, they have uh, obviously contributed to a lot of the uh, economic injustice. Occupy LA protesters say the ports are basically Wall Street on the waterfront. The group rallied together despite the early morning rain for one reason. Shut them down. And it's not just in Long Beach. Occupy protesters up and down the West Coast are joining an effort to close some of the nation's busiest ports from Anchorage to San Diego. Our initial plan is to come out here, occupy the ports, create picket lines and have the uh, longshoremen uh, not go to work. A longshoreman who works here responds to the rally. We can't uh, really come out here and back them up. You know, we're, uh, we understand the problem of the 99% and, uh, and we're all in favor of it, but uh, it's just some things that we can't back up on. The International Longshore and Warehouse Union, which represents thousands of West Coast longshoremen, have distanced itself from the shutdown effort. And when I asked the protesters what was next for this particular demonstration, they said they weren't sure, but they did say they would not set up camp here at the ports as they did in City Hall. Live in Long Beach, Danielle Saar, ABC7 Eyewitness News.